Yeah, obviously very exciting. Uh, you know, to stay, stay at the Blues uh, will take me into my eighth year. Um, very exciting, mate. Love the club. Um, love the organisation as, as a whole. Um, from the from the upstairs to, to the boys downstairs, so very excited. Been away, went to Bali, um, had a lot of weddings. We celebrated Ed Cano's wedding um, last Saturday, so it was good to catch up with the boys and um, you know have a, have a bit of a beer and celebrate um, Ed getting married. Um, but other than that, you know, pretty relaxing. Um, catch up with a few of the boys to to do a few sessions here and there, um, but not too much. New coaching staff. I've uh, had a bit of a chat to Dale Amos, um, so very excited to have him on board. Um, not much with with the rest. I'll, I'll wait till we sort of come back in and have a chat to the rest of the guys. Um, the new players on board. Just sending them a text and just uh, you know like a bit of a welcome welcome to the club. Um, excited to have you down that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of the boys did that. Um, so a very exciting period. Um, yeah, there's obviously a lot of changes. Uh, looking forward to getting into the pre-season, you know, meeting everyone face to face, um, and you know, really attacking the pre-season. Like 2014 was probably in terms of games, like you know, no injuries. Um, you know, played 19 games, but I think 2014, uh, 2015, um, you know, I started to get like a bit more continuity uh, in the actual games I played. I know I missed I missed a couple of games at the start and at the end. But I felt sort of more comfortable each and every game playing, in, you know, dual roles, playing in a multiple of roles. So I think, you know, more comfortable playing up the ground and in the back line. I think, I think, you know, certainly this uh, this year just gone, I sort of started to feel that way a little bit. With the, you know, you could see, you know, sort of Juddy on the way out, um, you know, Andy Carrazzo, who've been two of the two of the best leaders, you know, you, you could possibly play under. Um, the guys sort of my age, sort of Jamo, uh, Rowie, Sam Doherty, even though he's a, a young guy, and Dylan Buckley, um, you know, they just started to see that you know that a void needed to be filled. So I, sort of, I, I certainly think there's you know a certain expectation on the guys sort of uh, my age to start coming through. We're going to have a lot of you know sort of twenty year olds, um, and they need, they need some guidance. They've been around for my, obviously my seventh year, coming into it, um, and any advice or you know, I can impart on these guys, I think it will be, will be good to get them, to get them up and going.